Hey everyone, my name's Sean, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of DealFlix. We're Priceline for movie tickets. We get butts in movie theater seats. Today, I first want to start by telling you my story. In 2001, I was a full-time student at UC Berkeley. And as a student, I started selling long-distance phone service to make some money. One week, I made over $6,000. So when I was 19, I ended up buying a Porsche, dropping out of school, and moving to LA. <laughs> so my brother and I did this, and we got it up to over a million dollars in revenue. When I was 21, I bought this Ferrari, and my brother and I bought this million dollar house, and life was good. Until the long distance company we contracted with went bankrupt, and we lost everything. Well, I did keep the Porsche, but other than that, I lost everything. And so I started overselling cell phones and went back to UC Berkeley in 2008, ended up graduating in December 2010. So as a college student this time around, I was skinny, I was sober, and therefore I was single. And so as a result, I started watching a ton of movies. I mean a ton of movies. Comedies, dramas, good ones, bad ones, opening night, five weeks in. And one of the things that I noticed was that there were a bunch of empty seats. In fact, I found out that over 88% of movie theater seats are empty right now. Over 88%. At the same time, over $40 billion are spent on movie tickets, popcorn, and soda every single year. So I had the idea for DealFlix, Priceline for movie tickets. We'd partner with movie theaters and sell their movie tickets popcorn and soda for up to 60% off on our iPhone app, Android app, or website. I grabbed two of my really good friends, Zach and Kevin, to be marketing and tech co-founders, and we launched last year in, in July 2012. So it's been a year and a half now. We started with just two theaters. Now we're in over 270 movie theaters across the country, including some big partners like Bowtie Cinemas, the fifth largest movie theater chain in the country, and others. So this is a really great thing for our movie theater partners because we, we are the perfect solution to the problem. Essentially, there's no set of fees, no monthly fees, and no monthly minimums. We only take 10 to 15% of whatever we sell, and we let the theaters compete on price and inventory and things like that. In other words, they can set restrictions for two weeks and, and things of that nature. I think the PowerPoint's a little off, by the way, so <laughs> in case some of this text is getting cut off. But yeah, so things have been going really well with our theater partners. In fact, they've been seeing lifts of anywhere between 3 4 and 5% in things like popcorn revenue and ticket sales. And most of the people coming in are new people or the old people coming in more often. In fact, people are buying a lot of concessions. Over 50% of our, our, our customers buy one concession or more for full price. Over 25% buy two or more concessions for full price and around 10% buy three or more concessions for full price. So how's it going? Things have really been growing. We had 40X growth this last year. In fact, last year we did about 500 tickets a month. In December, we broke over 9,700 tickets, and last month, we broke over 16,000 tickets in February. So things have been growing really well. In fact, we just broke over a million dollar annual revenue run rate this past month, so that was really exciting. How are we doing it? We have a lot of different marketing methods we use. Mobile's been really big for us. In fact, we came out with our iPhone app last year, and it's been featured four times by Apple so far. And we came out with our Android app last year, and it was featured once by Google at Google I.O. Our team's also been growing. We now have 10 full-time on our team, four engineers, a couple of them are in the back over there. See Mike over there with his DealFix swag. And we also have four salespeople and a couple of part-time marketing people. We've also raised some money, over 1.2 million so far, and we're raising 1.5 million. So if you're interested, come see me. We have some great investors. 500 Startups is one of our investors. Media Camp and Warner Brothers, another investor of ours, including XG Ventures, Seamer Ventures, and some others. So if you're interested in helping us fix this $40 billion broken market with 88% empty seats. You can see myself or one of our team members or email founders at gifflix.com. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks. Um, so just a quick question on the, um, the, the financials. So you said you cracked a million dollars in, in revenue, but I assume that that's net of your cost of goods, right? So if you're, if you're generating uh, you know, your margin at 10 to 15 percent, you're currently at, a, you know, at a, a real sort of run rate to fund operations of about 100 to 150,000 at this point. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So, so that's an annual revenue growth run rate, exactly. So yeah. We, are, we actually had 15% margins in 2013, so those were kind of our real and margins. Just quick, so what's determining whether you're, what your margin is in that 10 to 15% range? Yeah, so it started out as 10%. That's a good question. So we started out just charging our theaters 10%, and 
And then in 2014, we increased it to 15% now for our new theaters that are coming in. However, last year it was actually 15% instead of 10%. So a lot of these 10, 15% is going back and forth. Bear with me. But we, we actually saw that in real life because we started selling gift cards. So you can go to DealFlix and buy DealFlix gift cards. We call it Deal Bucks. And some people buy those and don't use them for whatever reason. And so that helped our margins a little bit last year. Okay, Paul, please. Uh, I just want to ask, did Eric get two questions because he's a sponsor? How does that work? Yeah, two, yeah. I'm not a sponsor, so I just, I just do one. So um, you, in your very energetic presentation, you probably said it, but let's just go back to from the consumer side. How does it work? What am I getting? Why am I coming? My butt's in my living room, so you want to move it. Why am I moving it? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you're a customer, you get up to 60% off on movie tickets, popcorn, and soda. Our average discount's 30% off. There's no convenience fees whatsoever. You can buy movie tickets the same day. You can buy it a couple days ahead of time if you want. Most of our theater partners let you even buy it a minute ahead of time. So you're going to basically get cheap discount movie tickets. Okay, Alan? Yeah, can you break down where, where, where they're coming from, you know, apps or, or web? Which one, what's the breakdown right now? Yeah, that's a great question. So when we first launched the company, we just had a website, and then we came out with our iPhone app last March, and we came out with our Android app last May. So ever since, we've been seeing more and more people shifting to our iPhone app and to our Android app. Uh, right now, I think it's still a little less than half are using our native apps. However, a lot of the people that are using web are using mobile web. Mobile web is actually one of our big channels as well. It's very interesting. Uh, and that, that trend is kind of continuing where it's shifting more and more toward mobile as time goes on. Explain some of the user experience. I understand price line analogy, but uh, from a user point of view, does the user literally make a blind bid and then find out whether he or she got the ticket or not? Uh, and it, do you have any kind of sophisticated yield management algorithms in your back end that, for instance, get tickets less expensive the closer you get to show time in order to optimize the revenue yield at a particular screen? Yeah, that's a really good question. So I'll start with the user experience and I'll talk a little bit about the optimizations that we do. Um, so this is actually just a little quick couple slides on what our user experience is. So you go to dealflix.com or hit our mobile apps or whatever it is. The first thing that you'll do is you'll see theaters that are near you. So you want to select the theater that you have near you. And then you can see things about the movie like Rotten Tomato and Flickster ratings, metadata, the show times that are available and, and whatnot. So once you find the movie that's playing at your theater, you can go ahead and select that. And then you'll see the different show times that are available and the different deals that are available for a show time. So you can select whatever one of those are that you want and then click buy now. After that, you put your credit card in. We now have saved credit cards, so it's kind of moving more toward this hotel tonight experience. And then after that, you'll get your confirmation number, which you can then just walk it in on your mobile phone or you can print it out if you want to and the theater will let you in. So that's the user experience. It's really simple. It's really straightforward. Just a couple clicks, a couple screens. In terms of what we're doing with Yield Manage with our theater partners, uh, that's been an interesting, an interesting path for us. Because when we first started this company, we were all into the algorithms and the yield management, the complex things of that nature. And then we started talking to actual real life movie theater owners. And they don't think about things the same way that we do here in Runway and in San Francisco. And so their whole thing is, we're the theater, we want control, we're going to do things the way that we want to do it. So we'll let you do this and only this. And so at some point we realized, okay, let's start with that and let's start moving them over to this yield management play as time goes on. So when we first started, a lot of the deals were given just by theaters, and then now we have, we have more uh, complex things that we're doing with certain theaters that opt into our, our yield management. Do so the theaters promote deal flicks on their website or anywhere else? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. That's one of the reasons why we still have a lot of web traffic, because a lot of our theater partners will put banners up on their website. They'll show ads before the movie starts. They'll hand out flyers, put up posters, and things like that.